Uh, if you fuck with winning, put your lattice to the sky How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cass from Cass Scooters here. As you see, I'm at my boyfriend's house right now, but that doesn't really matter. In this video, we're going to be talking about the importance of quarantining any animals that you do in, especially if you have a larger collection or you don't know what to look for uh, illness-wise. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump to the video. So quarantining your reptiles or really anything you get in really is a very important uh, process that should be taken more seriously than it really is. Um, not many people quarantine as far, far as, I, ugh, as far as I've seen and um, especially more beginner keepers they aren't really quarantining. You, The more animals you have the more likely you are because you have more expensive collection and you know what to do. But as far as I see, a lot of beginner keepers aren't quarantining when they get new animals, and granted they only have one or two animals already, but it's still an important practice and it should be taken more seriously, as quarantining helps prevent the spread of disease or parasites such as mites. And mites are a big deal, as well as a lot of the illnesses in reptiles and amphibians. Um, as you know, it is a little bit harder to find a vet that treats reptiles and amphibians, and you should have one lined up before you even get an animal, but as you know, I'm sure it's a lot harder to find a vet that treats these animals, so that makes quarantining a lot more important because once something goes wrong, it really goes wrong from there. Um, so first off, I should explain quarantining, and quarantining is keeping an animal isolated from the your major collection or your main collection uh, but for between one to three months because that's usually how long it takes for something to show up um, and that's generally the cycle period of a lot of uh, bacteria and viruses um, it's generally one to three months and you have it separated in a different room in a different side of the house completely isolated from all your other animals and during that time you will get them eating and you'll keep them on a sterile uh, keep them in a sterile environment and you'll be doing mite treatments and you'll be trying to get them to feed and if it's an import you'll be doing um, fecals because that's really important considering a lot of wild caught or farm bred animals do have uh, parasites a significant parasite load at that it really depends the animal of course because I know rattlesnakes like mine personally he didn't have any parasites but it's really depending on the individual itself but that still does not uh, justify a lack of quarantine just because a certain species doesn't have as heavy as a parasite load as others. Of course. So basically when you quarantine, you are going to set up something in a completely different room on the opposite side of your house or apartment or something like that. Uh, somewhere where it can be isolated from all your animals and you're going to be doing, like I said, you're going to be doing mite treatments and keep it in an extremely sterile environment. So paper towels and uh, things you can throw away such as paper towel tubes and plastic water bowls and those plastic hides or something that's easily cleaned in case something does pop up such as mites which is very common in collections unfortunately. Uh, I've had it a few times and I'm not afraid to admit that because uh, pretty much most keepers who have large collections has had it at one point or another. And a lot of these diseases aren't necessarily that hard to uh, cure. Mites is literally just a few rounds of treatments um, that you can buy at any reptile store or um, expo really. Um, but some things such as respiratory infection which can be extremely contagious is a little harder to um, treat because you do need a reptile vet and they will prescribe you medications more than likely if the respiratory infection is very uh, mild then you could sort of lessen it by raising the temperatures just slightly and um, I believe it's dropping the humidity a little bit but don't quote me you need to do your own research too Besides that, there's a lot of other diseases that are less common but can still take a toll and pretty much wipe out your collection if you don't quarantine. And that is the whole point of quarantining is to find a disease that would pop up in said period. Train. 
And the point of quarantining is to, of course, find those uh, diseases and let those bacteria and viruses show through uh, before it would have spread to your collection and which wiped out your entire collection, which is something that's never fun, but it does happen because people get too comfortable and get too cocky and confident and do not quarantine their animals, which is something, like I said, you should always do. Uh, especially with me because I do take in a lot of wild caught animals and a lot of imports because that's what I like. Um, I do have to quarantine a little more seriously because a lot of my imports would come in with parasites or they will come, out, come in with mites or they will come in with illnesses that could possibly wipe out my collection and that's why quarantining is always uh, a must. And it's always good to do, uh, do treatments precautionary with your imports and or just quarantining animals overall. Uh, it's good to do precautionary mite treatments because if not then you could miss mites and that is never a fun thing because you'll see that they've passed after a month but then suddenly you have mites in your entire collection which is never fun by the way. It sucks. So that's why I say go two to three months for quarantining just to make sure that you have nothing and everything is all clean unless you do precautionary mite treatments because then you need to only do four treatments which is like once a week. But of course Make sure you look it up and make sure that that species that you take in is not allergic to mite treatments because there's multiple ways to do mite treatments. I know I prefer to do um, Dawn dish soap and water, but that doesn't always work and sometimes you do need to use things like Preventamite. Um, but besides what I said, like I said, I can't stress quarantining enough. It is very, very important and it could be detrimental to your collection if you don't do it. A lot of bigger keepers know that, but never get too comfortable, never get too cocky because something could always happen. Something could always go wrong. So yeah, um, I don't know how to make this video more pro-quarantine besides just repeating, repeatedly saying it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say is quarantine, do your research, and really check your animals, and always go to the vet if you can. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, um, it's honestly just an educational video since I don't really have much else to put out and I feel really inspired right now, being I only have a few of my animals with me, but I also did get another one and then I may be getting another one next week, fingers crossed that this happens because I'm excited. Alright, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.